Hello, Abhishek. Thanks for joining us on today's podcast. Uh, how are you, you today? I'm good. Uh, how are you? Yeah, very good. Thank you. So uh, I just wanted to approach you about your experience so far of studying medicine in Bucharest in Carol de Villa University. Uh, would you be able to talk us through uh, the initial stages of, first of all, um, when you finished high school, what you went through and what brought you to go abroad? Yeah, uh, sure. Um, after I finished high school, um, my grades were good, but unfortunately it wasn't great and good enough to apply at home. So I felt a bit um, discouraged, but I heard from, uh, from a friend about Medlink and uh, how the experience, uh, how it helped them to, to achieve, the, to achieve their dreams. Not, at, not at home, but abroad. So I thought, why not give it a try? So I contacted MedLink and asked them, what can I, what could you do for me to apply for Med abroad? Yeah, and how did that go? It went well. Uh, I, I applied through MedLink. They, uh, they sorted out all the paperwork, giving me some advice about how the process is going on. And in the end, uh, I got a seat in uh, Carita Villa in Paris from Medlink. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. And uh, where, can you introduce us to your background a little bit, Abhishek? Where are you from? Where do you live? Um, I was born in India and uh, I moved here to England in, when I was nine years old. Uh, I'm from Ilford, which, which is a town in London. And now I, now I currently live in Bucharest. Studying the first year medicine in Carol de Villa. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Thanks for that. So, how are you finding it at the moment? It's great. It's, um, honestly, it's, it's good. It's, um, it's a rewarding experience. If you put in the work, uh, as if you're determined and you put in the work, it, it's great. You get the rewards from it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of students are nervous about coming abroad and they worry what it will be like because there's so much uncertainty and they don't know anything about abroad, uh, about studying abroad, I mean. So uh, what do you reckon about this? Did you have, did you go through this? Yeah, I, 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 was, I was in that place before, before applying to, before applying for the admission. I thought, uh, what am I going to do when I'm alone in a new country and then, how am I going to meet the people? I don't know how the course is going to be. Although they say it's English, is it is it going to be as good as as good as how you're going to study over here? But since um, I asked uh, you guys at Medlink about the information, you you kept reassuring me that it's going to be fine. And plus, you also told uh, me about the, how other students have already applied abroad, and they're still doing great. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Okay. And after you came, is it what you expected? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is what I expected. And, you know, it's it's a great course over there. You don't need to be scared about it. And the professors are, are really great. They're, they're good at uh, teaching you of all the, all the, all the subjects. And it's, it's, it's quite enjoyable, honestly. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Okay. And... Uh... Uh, a lot of students worry that, yes, the course is in English, but how good is the English of the teachers? So what do you have to say about that? No, it's, 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 the English is fine. It's, it's fine. You don't need to worry about it. It's not, it's not that, that they, they speak less English and more of Romanian. They, they speak English quite clearly and they explain it very well. I, I understand it from the lessons. And plus, uh, they give me they give me the the notes. If if I still don't understand, I still read the notes. Okay, that's very good. And um, how how is the style of teaching? Style of teaching, um, it's great actually. It's um, we're taught in groups, and and the teacher the and the professor keeps asking us questions and always trying to make sure that we understand it about what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And uh, do the teachers teach just as well as the teachers teach in the UK? Uh, yeah. Yeah. They, 
they teach uh, they teach quite fine and like i said they they try to make sure that you understand that's the whole point at the end of the day they're trying to make sure that you learn something from it yeah and uh, you mentioned you're in the first year at the moment how have you found the first year subjects what's your favorite subject at the moment uh i had in the first year i had uh, anatomy physiology yeah. cell biology uh, psychology uh romanian obviously yeah and uh, sports medicine and biophysics biochemistry uh from my so far i like uh, cell bio is um, because it's uh, a level biology which i learned and it made my life much easier and i really enjoy about how how how, how the process of of the human body works at the cell cellular level yeah okay that's very good uh with the what about with anatomy as well do you have a lot of practicals yeah we have a lot of practicals and uh, the the great thing about it is that the our teachers they they do show they do show us a, a lot of detail about how how the, the structure the functions and how the clinical aspects about it yeah that's very good do you get a lot of practicals in the other subjects as well Yes, yes, we we do get a lot of practical subjects, and it's it's quite fun. It's it's fun to do to do something hands on, and you and you get the the results, which is satisfying. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And uh, how are the exams? Are they very hard to pass, or uh, uh, how do you find them personally? Um, when you look at the paper for the first time, everyone's mind is going to be. Oh, this is hard. But what what you have to do is you have to keep reading the question, and then you will soon understand it. Plus, it's it's not hard. It's it's to the point, and and the questions are mo- most of the questions I've I face is multiple choices, which are great because because after I keep reading it so many times, I finally understand what they're trying to ask and what's the answer. Yeah. Okay. So do you struggle at all to understand the teachers or the the test papers because of the English or is it no, easy to understand no, I, it's, it's not it's not because of the English it's because when you learn some new information for the first time not everyone will get it, get it will understand it at, uh, right away so it takes time and patience to for you to learn Yeah, of course I agree especially with medicine it's a big subject medicine so uh, it takes a lot of effort and energy to learn it. However, is it manageable or is it daunting? No, no, it's it's manageable as long as you keep you keep calm everything will be fine. Okay, fantastic. And uh, with regards to another subject that you mentioned as well, Romanian language, uh, how have you found yeah. that subject learning Romanian? and you know it's it's basically baby steps you know you have to learn you learn the alphabet you learn a few phrases which are quite really helpful for you to get around around the city especially with when when you need to buy groceries or when you have to travel a lot to university or back from university yeah okay fantastic uh, talking about that what's it like then traveling around the city and living in this city bucharest Mostly, I commute around the city through uh, metro, and it's it's uh, I use a monthly pass, and it's um, it's only fifteen pounds from from the from based on this local currency, and one month pass is great. You know, you get to travel around. You know, there's no there's no restrictions about it, and you know, if there are some places you cannot reach through public transport, you can have you can take an Uber, and it's very convenient. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Uber is very good because you can use it in English in your own phone. Uh do the spe- yeah. do the taxi drivers speak English in Uber? Yeah, m- most of them do. They they very friendly people and they they always really interested to know where you're from and they also want to share their experience about the country to you. It's it's like you're you're a tourist. Yeah. Oh, very good. Perfect. And uh 
Talking about that, what's it like uh, living in a city among Romanians then? How have you found the Romanian people and culture? Well, it's, it's really interesting, you know. It's, uh, they, they have a lot of history. If, if you learn from the beginning and the hardships they went through, it's, it's quite interesting to know. And it's, it's, it's great that they are still, you know, still strong and still going on. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Very good. And uh, the people, have you? How have you found them interacting with them? The uh, the people are really helpful. You know, they they're really nice people. They're really helpful. You know, if um, if there are some people from other foreign countries who are who have been here longer than than I have, and they help me quite a lot to get through through uni or through other other things when when I'm living in Bucharest. Yeah. Do you mean students? Yeah, I've uh, I met uh, students from var- various places around the world. Plus, even also Romanian students who, who study an English course. English course. Yeah. Oh, very good. Okay. How is the student community and the atmosphere between students in Carol de Villa University? It's it's great. You know, it's 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 calm. It's great. They're really helpful. You know, once you everyone is in, everyone is the same at the same place as you. You know. They don't know what to do, but once you get to know people, to f- get to know people, it, it it makes them life much easier. Yeah. Oh, very good. Perfect. Yeah. So your advice would be for students to integrate and try to meet as many students as possible. Yes. Yeah. I. It's it's great to meet a lot of people, and yes, you should integrate as much as you can. You know, if if you want to get through university, then you need to understand how to get help from people yeah oh perfect very good uh so uh talking about uh people do you was it easy making friends when you first arrived there or was it hard yeah it's, yeah it was easy they you know i met some people uh, uh from facebook groups or, or i met some people on the day when i was uh, signing the contract for uni you know you make friends instantly from day one yeah oh very good okay did you have to do a entrance exam before you signed uh, the acceptance letter with the uni no no i didn't do any uh, entrance exam meddling they told me that uh, i'm exempt from it based because of my uh, gcse grades and other level grades which were compatible oh perfect yes exactly and the entrance exam is only a basic english exam so it's nothing to be afraid of for people who do have to take an entrance exam um with uh, regards to the city let's go down to the back to the city um how much do you usually spend per month living in uh, Bucharest? um if i'm excluding rent and uh, rent and maybe maintenance from the apartment maybe at least uh, 300 pounds 300 pounds because mo- yeah. yeah mostly is basically most of them is just food just yeah, just to buy food. So I, I kind of cook a lot. Yeah. Oh, very good. Okay. Uh, do you get all, do you find all the ingredients and spices that you need to make uh, the foods that you cook? Um, yes and no, but there, there are some services that, that, that will post uh, some of the stuff which you're not able to find in Romania. Yeah. To, to, from maybe, for example, from Bulgaria, I have, I've heard. But I asked my parents to bring some stuff from, from the UK to me, uh, to send some stuff to Romania, and they did. Oh, perfect, yeah. Uh, so, since you've mentioned people coming to Romania or sending stuff, how much does it cost for you to go back and forth, uh, back home to London uh, during, after, during the, Lon- uh, the holidays? Um, during the holidays, uh, it's, not, it's, not mu- it's not much. I know it's definitely less than £100. Uh, I don't uh, carry a suitcase with me. I just take a, a small uh, carry-on bag when I need to go uh, come back to UK or for the holidays. Yeah, okay, perfect. And how far is the airport from Carol de Villa University then, roughly? The airport from the maybe at least half an hour, half an hour tops. In the taxi? Uh, yeah, by taxi. If it's a good road, condi- if the traffic is good. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, and uh, how is the weather in Bucharest then? The weather is just like 
the weather over here. Yeah. It's European weather, but it's it's been better than uh, here. You get more 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 sunshine and less cold. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Uh, and uh, what? Well, let's go back to your uh, living costs and so on. Uh, how much do you spend on an apartment then? Apartment. I live by myself, and uh, my apartment is at least five five uh, metro station stops away from Caradavilla. Yeah. So I pay three fifty euro a month. Okay, that's good. Is it a nice apartment? Yeah, it is. It is a nice apartment. Um, you know, it's. I live by myself, and it's quite small, but it's less for me to clean it up. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's good. You're efficient, um, and uh, usually a lot of students worry as well uh, about studying at Carol de Villa because it's such a reputable and uh, a top university. They worry if they'll be able to pass. Uh, have you at all struggled at all because it's such a good university? Have you at all struggled with this or had any obstacles? Yeah, when I had my first uh, control test, which is like uh, end of term test, we, which we call over here, yeah. I felt I felt a bit nervous because you know it's everything's first time. You don't know what's the what's going to be the outcome. Yeah. But you know, once once I did the tests and in the end I passed all of them. I got I got good grades. I didn't need to feel worried anymore because I knew that I had to keep studying. So if you keep studying, you won't have any problem. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And currently with the coronavirus and uh, everything that's going on in the world, how is the university managing teaching you and providing uh, an education to the students? Uh, we have online classes. Uh, we use platforms like Google Meet or Zoom to for live uh, on, for live classes. And uh, we have uh, Google Classroom. Or if Google, Google Classroom is not reachable, uh, our professor sends us... Uh, uh, notes uh, or worksheets to our group leader who distributed to all of us yeah okay very good this is uh, something that usually international students uh, need to be introduced to with regards to group uh, studying where usually there's a certain number of students in each group how many people are in your group for example in my group uh, is 12 12, 12. people yeah, okay. So in Carol de Villa, it'll be 12 people per group with one group leader yeah. who usually communicates with the teachers uh, and then uh, sends, passes on the message from the teachers to the students in his group or her group. Yeah. Uh, how yeah. have you found this style or type of learning? What do you think of this? Uh, could you repeat your question, please? I mean, with regards to learning in groups, because this is not something that's done in high school. Uh, it's done in oh, yeah. medical school, this. So how have you found learning in groups? Do you like it? Learning in groups, yeah, it's good because, you know, some things uh, we learn here, back, uh, back home here, um, it's, it's, it's completely different of what they learn. And it's really interesting to see what stuff, what stuff they learned and which we can learn from them and we, which could be beneficial for us uh, during the course. Yeah, that's a very good point because everyone's coming from a different part of the world. Everyone's learned different things during high yeah. school. Uh, so usually in the first year, what the universities do is put everyone on the same level in biology, chemistry, yeah. physics and so on. And then go on to the deeper subjects like anatomy and like and the ones you mentioned. Uh, did you find uh, this is the case? Uh, yeah, they, they want to make sure that everyone us understand the basics and everyone's at the same level because we don't want they, do, they don't want anyone to be left behind uh, in, in the course yeah very good perfect uh and uh, with regards to the older students you probably have you met any older students from the upper years yeah i met uh, two older students from uk uh one from the united states and maybe a few more yeah um, oh where places very good. What do they think of the university? Do they give you a positive impression or else, uh, or something else? No, they um, overall is positive impression. But you know, it's it all depends on depends on the person themselves. You know, if they if they are one hundred percent honest and transparent to themselves, then they get they do the work honestly and get through the university. Then it's going to be fine. 
Yeah, definitely. I agree with you. Uh, it's what you make of it. Wherever you go in the world, if you're going to work hard, then you will definitely succeed and uh, make the most of this opportunity. What do you think of this yeah. opportunity? As it is a very unique opportunity that's available for students. Um, uh, and yeah. a lot of people maybe don't realize what a great opportunity is to come abroad and pursue medicine. What's your advice to yeah. these uh, students? Uh, everyone should, you know, should take this opportunity as a second chance. You know, nobody, nobody should feel that she should feel going to a foreign country is is, is a barrier or is a put off for them. You know, it's it's always nice to go out and see see how different different culture, different perspective, or how the world works from other people's point of view. Yeah, that's really good advice. Uh, thanks for that, and. Uh, for a lot of parents, they contact us, the mother or the father, and they're very scared about sending their 18, 17 year old student, uh, son or daughter who's just finished high school abroad. Now, you went abroad and you were quite young, a similar age. Uh, what do you yeah. what would you say to those parents? You know, it's, you know, it's every parent's nature to be worried about their child. And it's also their nature to give them the best, best possible opportunity. And I think they shouldn't worry that much and they should keep this as a consideration going abroad and studying medicine. And, you know, my parents, they keep giving me constant advice about how to adjust uh, life in uh, Bukharas and, you know, what not to do or what to do. Yeah, that's very good. So do you think it's manageable for someone so young to come abroad on their own? Yeah, it's it's fine. It's it's fine for them as you know they 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 are young adults, you know. They they're starting, they st they have sooner or later they have to go out uh, go go out alone and they have to face all of this. Why not why should it why should it be sooner? Yeah, definitely. That's very good advice. Um and uh, that that's very good because a lot of students uh, they're not used to living outside their homes, which is normal because in the even if you move uh, in the UK, you move to a university, you still have to live on your own. Um, yeah. So is it that different from moving to another city in the UK compared to moving to a different country like Bucharest? No, honestly, you know, the the life over here in, back in London is it's quite similar to Bucharest. It's not you're, you're going to some unknown town where... No one, no one really knows about city life. It's, it's a, it's a capital city. We, uh, we, I, I live there, and it's fine. Yeah. So, would you advise uh, young uh, people who are seventeen, eighteen years old, who have never been outside their home, to come and uh, try it out? Do you think they will survive and manage it? Um, I think first they should, they should come and see how the life works. You know. They, they need, they, it gives them a good perspective about what, how they can manage and, you know, and what, and, and try to be comfortable enough that medicine is for them, but they can achieve it abroad. Yeah. Okay. And do you think, uh, obviously you, before you came abroad, you probably researched, uh, whether the university would be accredited, whether you'd be able to come back to the UK and work in the UK. Was that something you went through? Yeah, I, yeah, I did some research, and you know, before they said that uh, all the, the degree from Cara de Villa is uh, is recognizable by the GMC, but you know, due to some recent changes happened. Now they they're introducing the the standardized test. Yeah. So now now we and the British students are on the same playing field where we have to go through the entrance test before we can get a job in back home. Yeah, absolutely. So you'd say the degree abroad is equal to the degree from the UK then? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, and uh, another thing also as students worry about is safety. Now, what do you think about uh, safety in Bucharest while living there? Well, you know, the, I haven't faced any problems uh, when I'm going there. And... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm much of a quiet person and, you know, I just get on with it. Um, as long as you just don't, don't be noisy, you know, you know what I mean by noisy or you just don't show off. You'll be fine. You just get on with, get on with your life. 
over there people they just mind their own business they they don't bother much yeah uh, what do you mean by noisy is that mixing with the wrong crowds you mean yeah as long as you just don't mix with the wrong crowds or do something wrong that could offend uh, the locals over there Oh, okay. Uh, is there uh, that many things that probably you would be doing wrong to offend the locals? Um, so far, <laughs> I, haven't, yeah. I, don't, I haven't realized anything that I have offended anyone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, nobody just came up to me or said something bad at me or bad-mouthed me or just, you know, saying I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, so generally, you mean, uh, uh, as... Generally, is safe. You mean? Yeah, it, it's, it is safe. You know, it is, it's fun, and people over there are really helpful. Yeah. Okay, that's very good. Uh, and some people as well worry because they come from Pakistani backgrounds or Indian backgrounds who are living in the UK or who are British as well. They worry if there would be any racism over there. Have you experienced anything no. like this? No. No. No, as an Indian myself, uh, I feel like I'm a celebrity. The, all, the, <laughs> all the Romanians, they tell me that they love the Indian culture, especially Bollywood films. I don't see why there's some racism. I mean, of course, you might you might see one or two who might be racist, but that's just that's just life. You just have to get on with it. It might be the same as back here, you know? If you go to some places here in UK, to, you might come across a few racist people. Well, there's nothing you can really do about it. You know, you just get on with it. Yeah, but you yourself personally, have you experienced any racism over there? No, no, I haven't experienced any racism. Oh, that's fantastic news. That's very good. Uh, yeah, so generally Eastern Europe is very safe and uh, the people are very accepting because they understand that foreign students are coming and they are invest investing in their... Uh, in their country local by spending, yeah, yeah, absolutely, local economy by spending lots of money on food and uh, apartments and tuition fees and so yeah. on. Uh, so you, they appreciate that you're contributing to their economy as well. So they are extra yeah, friendly I, with the locals. Yeah, go on. Yeah, they, they feel like uh, we are promoting them, which is a good thing, you know. It's, that's the whole point. We, we want, they, we, they're more welcoming and, you know, we should feel... If you're feeling welcome, then we should go there. Yeah, absolutely. That's very good advice. Um, so, okay. Thanks a lot for your time, Abhishek. Is there anything else you'd no like worries. to add at all uh, for future students who are a little bit worried about stepping out of their comfort zone and coming abroad? Um, Any I would final advice? advice? To, I yeah. would advise them to do some research, you know. You know, if they, if they, if they feel, if they're still feeling worried, then they should have a chat with you guys, you know. You guys have been so reassuring with me. I had so many questions and I kept knowing you, but, you know, in the end, at the end of the day, you were, you were always uh, giving me the good answers. And then, you know, I, I started, to, started to learn and started to get more confident about going to, uh, going to Bucharest. Yeah, it's very good. And it's important to also uh, note that it is always a pleasure for us to help future doctors uh, come and pursue yeah. their dreams studying medicine. So uh, it's it's never an annoying. It's always a pleasure. And uh, uh, would you recommend your university to future students? Yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm having a good time. You know, it's it's the course is similar to what you might f find here. You know. And, yeah. You know, people are very really nice, friendly. You know, why don't you take a chance to go somewhere abroad and learn some new culture? Yeah, fantastic advice. Very good, Abhishek. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you.